Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel um, I just want to give a big thanks to everyone that's been commenting, everyone that's been leaving feedback, um, even commenting on my accent. <laughs> Oof. Oh, I hate my accent but some of you seem to really like it so um, and I try and tone it down as much as I can but sometimes the cockney just like literally just comes flying out especially when I'm angry or excited but anyway so I'm excited to do this one today so um it is what does your soulmate look like what is their career and their personality traits and how you're going to meet them so this is going to be a long one so you know strap in get a drink um so for pile one we have the card self initiation and for pile two heart of the moment and for pile three, we have Sweet Soul Rising. So don't forget these are energies, guys. So if you're male watching this, you know, um, and a male card comes out, that can still be female, okay? Um, so yeah, I'll see you at your piles. Hey, pile one. So if you chose self-initiation with this card, um, this is actually a teacher card in this deck so you could be your soulmate could actually be a teacher or they could be a professor or they could be just in a profession where they teach people um yeah and it also could be that this person's going to teach you um some life lessons and you know help you with things that maybe you've had to deal with yourself so that's what i'm getting from this soulmate of yours so, I'm going to get tarot cards first. Hmm, I don't know. Hang on. Let me see what I'm drawn to. Actually, no. Let's see. We'll look at what they look like uh, as I go on. But I want to know um, more about your soulmate, if you know what I mean. Like their career, who they are. So, Spirit, tell me. Um, Pile one soulmate. Tell me more about Pile One Soulmate. Who are they? What do they do? Okay, I've got two cards. Oh no, we have three. Family. So this soulmate of yours could have a family already. You know, they could have children. Um, I mean, because if you look at this card. Or, like I said, they're te if I'm picking up a strong teacher vibe here. So if this person is, your soulmate is a teacher, they could be a kindergarten teacher, as we say over here, nursery teacher um, or preschool. You know, they could, they could work with younger kids. They could also be like a social worker is what I'm picking up as well. Um, I don't know what you call it in your country, but social worker is where um, someone looks after families that need help you know, when kids kids need help as well. So social services, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm getting a big energy here that they are someone that looks after people, cares a lot about people, okay? Because don't forget, this is a collective reading, so so many messages come through, so, you know. Um, what else do we have? Consciousness, we have present power. So this is someone that is really powerful. They could hold the position in their job as someone that is you know really high up and people that actually really respect this person for some of you um this person could have long hair and a beard um they also could actually train animals for some of you okay you know um they could work with animals that's another one and we have courage. Yeah, this person has a lot of courage. And I've, I've, what I'm picking up here as well is that because we've got the family here, the children in that card, it's somebody that has the courage to stand up to people, um, you know, that, you know, they do. What is that bloody thing that I'm trying to say? Um, trying to do right by people, you know, the, the weak, you know, the young this is someone that will stand up for these people, okay? You know, even animals, because animals are defenseless. 
you know there's a lot of people out there that abuse poor animals and I love my babies I do so I'm an animal lover <clears throat> so what else we got here um so yeah let's look at their job okay so what kind of job does pile one soulmate have and I'm going to get a few cards here because you know you never know collective reading so what kind of job does pile one soulmate have so they could Now this says the connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So this person could actually, like I said, teacher. I'm just getting such a strong vibe of some kind of teacher here. They could even be a music teacher where they teach younger children. You know, there's a variety here. So yeah, we've got music, career change. Um, this is somebody that could have actually changed careers. Maybe um, they weren't being fulfilled and they decided to change careers or it could be when you meet your soulmate they're actually in a process of changing a career and then we have children wow look children true children your life purpose involves helping teaching and healing children okay love spirit thank you for this for clarifying it i am really picking up someone that takes care of kids here okay um which is lovely I mean, and look at this, he's playing a musical instrument. And then there's a lion in this card. So this could be a Leo that you're dealing with. We've got a lion and a tiger in this card as well. Um, so yeah, you could be dealing with a, a Leo. This is someone that's very highly valued in the spiritual world as well. Look at him with the angel wings. This is, a, this is a such a nice soul that I'm picking up here, guys. Oracle cards, you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So this person could be into tarot, they could be into oracle cards, you know, they could do that on the side for other people. Oh, I'm liking this for you, if I want. Um, let's get some physical features. So tell me, what does Pile One soulmate look like what are their physical features spirit oh my goodness that's like half the deck <laughs> so don't be, um these cards have male and female in them so you know you take what resonates okay so this person could have a short nose i'm look, looking at button nose they could have a little button nose they could have straight hair they have hazel eyes is what spirit is saying so tell me more about what this uh, soulmate of pearl wines looks like. Lavishly trendy dress. So they could dress, <laughs> dress really trendy. They could have dark skin. I wanted to flip. They like, maybe if, you know, if this is a female, they may like to wear red lipstick or it could be that even if it's a male they just have those lips that you you know that women wish they could have that just look rosy all the time <laughs> so when you meet this person they could have braces you know so for some of you this could be an older man or even an older woman, this is energies, like I said, okay, so they could be older than you, and this person has thin eyebrows, for some of you they could be a tomboy, and long hair again, so long hair is coming through pretty dominant here, and even in that card there, they have long hair in that card, okay, so that's those there, um, I'm going to leave them till after, so let's get some tarot cards, Tell us more of what this um, so, Pile One Soulmate looks like, Spirit, please. Tell us more of what the Soulmate looks like. Oh, jeez. So we've got the Hangman. Let's get a few more. Now, bear with me, 
and a jingle. Tell me more what um Paul wants. I have the Page of Pentacles. So with the hangman here, this is someone that is unique, someone that like with those cards there about the, their dress sense. So they've got a certain style to them that is very unique and you, you may not be used to that or seeing that. There's something that, that, you know, they stand out, okay? It's like outside the norm because, you know, the hangman's upside down. Um, so I'm seeing that this person, this soulmate here, is someone that goes against the grain, if you know what I mean. They don't care. They've got a unique style. Got a queen of swords. So this soulmate of yours could be, um, could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is very strong here. Okay. Um, So, yeah, so this is somebody that is very warm and kind. You know, they're very helpful with the page of um, cups here. You know, even if they are older, they have a youthful youth, youthfulness about them, okay? Um, they don't look their age is what I'm seeing here with the page of cups. They do not look their age at all. They look younger. So you may get the impression that they're actually younger. It could be the way they dress as well. And, you know, that card there, she has long hair. Um, and then with the Queen of Swords, we've got uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well, air sign here. So, Queen of Swords, hmm. I like, it's nice that the Queen of Swords actually came out in this reading. This is somebody that they have so much confidence, okay? They have so much charisma. This is somebody that um, when they walk in a room, you know they're in the room. You know, this is somebody that, that wouldn't take any BS from anybody, can see through people's BS as well, and they stand up for what is right. And that's what I was saying at the beginning there. This is someone that has morals, okay? Um... It's like I'm just getting a defender here. This person could even have red hair because the card there has red hair as well. I'm picking up this person could live by the water or they like a lot of water sports as well because we've got two cards which is surrounding water here. So there's something to do with water with this soulmate of yours. So let's find out about their personality. Tell me about um, Par One's soulmate's personality, please, Spirit. Okay, that came out in reverse. So, okay, this person's personality, you know, their traits, them as a person, They've experienced a lot of setbacks, a lot of delays. Um, it could even be setbacks in relationships. It could be setbacks in their, their career here. You know, they have... I feel like this energy here doesn't feel like anything goes right for them. Even though they're happy with what they're doing, I'm, you know, I'm picking up more of the, you know... Maybe the relationship side of things. Let's have a look. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Relationship. Okay. Yep. Look at this. So, you know, that's a passionate new beginning, okay? That's finding passion, being passionate about something. They're very passionate about their job. But what they're lacking in their life is their soulmate or that love of their life, okay? But this is a soulmate reading, so I'm going to say soulmate. And, um... Oh! Look at that. 
okay i won't show that just yet it's on the back of the deck i've got to be very careful with these cards because they're really inappropriate some of them okay <laughs> but i love them i should put a sticky thing over it but anyway back to what i was saying so yeah this person has experienced a lot of setbacks when it comes to um meeting the one you know, they, they really want to get married, they want a commitment, they want a family with someone, you know, they want they want everything here with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they want everything here, but they've been dealing with so many people in their life, like relationships here, where they've had people that are very dishonest, very sneaky, you know, I feel like maybe some people have relationships some of the people may have stolen from them, but they've lied a lot. You know, I feel like this energy here, this soulmate has been cheated on quite a lot. So, yeah. Mm. So this card on the back of the deck. So we've got, like I said, very strong Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Um, and a lot of water surrounding these cards here. <laughs> so I'm looking at this card here and... <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing, I'm acting like a big child, but I have to cover it up with my thumb and I'm going to put a card over it or something over it. Um, this could be someone that is very buff. You know, if this is for you women that are watching this. This is someone that is um, could have tattoos, okay? Very, very buff, you know, into fitness here. And they could also have a very, I'm going to keep it, try and keep it PG, but their snake could be very big because if you were to actually see this card it's it's yeah um let me find something that i can just bear with me guys i need to sort something out about these cards because there's a couple that are really inappropriate just get some blue tack but anyway there you go <laughs> actually i may need to leave that out because there are a couple of more you know you never know you might get them look at this we've got the lovers as well so this is somebody that is looking for their their person which is you guys their soulmate okay um so you could be dealing with someone that has tattoos like i said somebody they're picking up very strong live by the water or they're into water sports here um and you know their thingy may be huge, so bonus. Um so anyway, so let's have a look how you will meet. So how will my pile ones meet their soulmate? Oh, straight away. Could be in the summer, guys. It could be on holiday, it could be while you're traveling. Um yeah. So it could be in the summer, the summer, summertime when the weather's hot. Ah, for some of you, okay, Tara resonates. For some of you, you may actually have children yourself. So if this person works with children, and your child is is going to wherever this person works, this could be how you actually meet this soulmate of yours. Okay, that's for some of you. Um, yeah, I'm picking up that quite strongly here. Okay, tell me more. How would they, uh, how would my pop? Did you ask the question? It flew out. Okay, we've got the devil energy here. I don't want to see the devil. Um, tell me more about the devil. How will Paul one meet their soulmate? Tell me about the devil. So I'm not at pentacles and judgment. <gasps> oh, excuse me. And the eight of wands on the back of the deck. Bear with me, guys. It 
So this could be somebody, this could be how you meet. You either are offered a job through this person here, and that could be where I'm picking up the kids here, strong, strong kiddie thing here. Um, so you could have a job offer from this person in regards to uh, working with children, if that's what you, the road you want to go down, part one. This person is very reliable and honest, okay, and sincere. They've been slow moving coming towards you here. But it's like spirit is saying this has to happen now, you know, with judgment here, with rebirth. This is your life purpose. This is your life purpose as well as their life purpose as well. So it's like you're being divinely guided towards one another and it's now is the time for it to happen is what spirit is saying. This is what I'm not happy about. You see, look, we've got the eight of ones on the back of the deck and this, this does speak of um, swiftness. You know, it's taken a long time to come together, both of you, but it's about to happen very quickly with the eight of ones here. Um, tell me about this devil energy. Why is this here? about the devil so we have the full the free or what oh okay brilliant okay the reason the devil energy here is chariot loving it um so we've got capricorn energy here and we've got cancer again so yep um the reason the devil energy is here, it's to, it's explaining that it's taken this energy here, your soulmate, to to leave behind so many toxic people in their lives because we have the seven of swords, which is a dodgy energy basically. So you know they've dealt with people that may have had addictions, um, may have had codependency issues, maybe being narcissistic, you know, abusive. Uh, controlling you know we can go on and on and on and they've dealt with a lot of people and they've finally turned their back on these people here with the three of wands okay and they've left that behind and they're looking to the future and the reason why they're looking to the future they're they're yearning for someone which is you your you know their soulmate and we've got the the oracle cards there and what i'm picking up here is i feel like they know you're coming they know they're going to meet you and i believe this person really does believe in soulmates and twin flames because they're into the oracle okay and um, just like you guys that are watching this so they know you're coming they know they're going to meet you but they don't know when so they're, they're really yearning okay for this to happen they want this new start with the fall here they're really excited about the future they're so excited i feel like they have dug into the occult here okay i feel like they know a lot about you par one okay now you're knowing about them <laughs> but you know we've got the ace of cups and then we've got the ten of pentacles this is a lifetime commitment here this is guaranteed this is you guys growing old together having a family you know generational wealth here you know leaving a legacy for your your kids and their grandkids this is this is beautiful and they're really excited and you know really wanting this to start you know chariot is forward movement it's it's something is about to happen here it's yeah something is definitely going to happen we had the eight of ones here as well Whew. so it could be that maybe like i said you could go for a job opportunity here it could be that you may travel you know you may meet this person while traveling oh, i like this this is really nice so any more um so spirit just my part one need to know any more about their soulmate the world wow
So for some of you, you could actually be traveling to where this person actually lives. You could be at a distance from each other, okay? Um, like a holiday or you just immigrate in because that's immigration as well. Um, you know, you may just want to move somewhere totally different. And this is going to bring you a lot of inner peace and harmony here. It's going to restore balance into your life as well as their life as well. You know, this is closing of a chapter for this soulmate here and it's it's like renewal like rebirth um having a having a you know excitement for the future is what i'm getting here okay they're going to be really excited when they meet you because i feel like they're going to know who you are because they look into the tarot into the oracle okay so let's see um a few messages here for you guys. Oh, dizzy. Okay, I just got a really bad wave of dizziness there. So either you guys suffer with dizziness, lightheadedness, or this person does. I'm gonna sit him down. <laughs> So we have Swan Grace, you who glide, glides across the waters of my soul, bring me my, your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. And um, this card is so beautiful to see because swans stay together for life. I love a swan. Um, so yeah, this is like the Ten of Pentacles here. This is somebody that has a lot of wisdom they're of light energy here as well, you know, with that card with the, the angel, with the children behind them. Um, yeah, I feel like this is this is a lifelong commitment with you two. Oh, okay, they just literally flew out. So we have Unicorn, Infinite Possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of the light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. So once again, we've got two unicorns here. A couple. You know, this is something magical. It could be, it could be where you've had a lot of darkness. They've had a lot of darkness. And spirit wants you both to let go of this darkness and embrace what it is something very beautiful something very magical because unicorns are magical you know um and then we have loon intuitive listen to the song of your soul trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude recognize that you are unique and that you are loved so it could be when you meet this person you may doubt yourself you may doubt them as a person you know are they sincere because I do believe with the devil energy here that you both may have experienced, you know, you're mirroring each other. You may have experienced a lot of toxic people in your life, not just relationships, people surrounding you. And you two coming together, it's going to be very beautiful. So let's get some of these messages as well for you guys. You know what's really nice about this reading for you, part one? I didn't see any red flags, which is unusual for tarot. So we have self, self, I just said that, and self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's the inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. And this is, this is what this card is as well. Use your intuition when you meet this person. Don't let the past affect something so beautiful here. Um, don't let the devil energy win here, guys. I'm just I am picking up a lot with you pile one that you're not very trusting okay you may be closed off spirit doesn't want you to be closed off to this person because they are very sincere about you you know they 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 want something with you or they want a future with you should I say <laughs> that sounded wrong <laughs> What did I just say? Let go. 
Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. So let go, guys. Let go. Stop holding on to the past. Um, I don't know if I want to get some of these. Oh, let's try. Let's have a look. Tell me more about Pole One Soulmate. lovers both of you will want to be together but you feel the stars are working against you perhaps it's bad timing but no i think that's the devil energy at work here you know there may be where was that there was a card here something about up oh, the ace of wands it could be when you two meet there may be problems you know that arise that you think oh you know it's not meant to be and that may be why you are starting to feel insecure you know this because don't forget things ain't a bed of roses you know things that it's not fairy tale is it there's always something that that comes up that affects people but with soulmates and twin flames you'll find the devil energy will try and affect that relationship that connection from not happening and this is what you've got to remember fast lane something feels different about this love and you you're not afraid to charge ahead hopefully this love will last so yeah i feel like you're gonna get the confidence eventually and just and you know what i was actually picking up earlier that i feel like this is gonna go very quickly between both of you two and that might be where you start getting a few insecurities it's gonna you're gonna feel like it's a bit too rushed You might meet or know someone who will grow to love turning friendship into relationships. So there you go. It could be that, you know, if for some of you, when I said that you may go for a job or you may travel somewhere or move somewhere abroad, this, you may end up friends first and then it's going to turn into love. But this energy here, your soulmate already knows about you guys. Okay. So just a little heads up there. Oh, on the back of the deck, fairy tale romance. This romance will feel magical. It will be an exciting adventure and perhaps a happily ever after, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So my pile one, I'm going to leave it there because this was beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> and um, anyway, so if you like this reading, please hit like. It helps the channel and comment down below if you want. And you have a lovely day. Bye. Hey, pile two. So if you chose the heart of the moment, and with this card, with the energy of your soulmate that I'm picking up, this is somebody that has experienced a lot of loss in their life. Um, <clears throat> a lot of heartache, a lot of hardships. I'm even picking up bullying as well. Um, they could suffer with anxiety, okay? Um, and with this energy here of your soulmate, um, I'm picking up that with this heart at the moment, even though they've gone through all these things in their life, they've experienced a lot of hardships, their heart is still very open to love. They're still very loving, kind. You know, I feel like they, they don't want to... It never turned them bit bitter is what I'm getting, okay? If anything, it's made them... really really um i don't know the energy is really lovely here that i'm picking up like very kind sincere warm you know i'm picking up like divine feminine masculine here and this energy is very protected in the spiritual world because if you look at these here these people here i see them as like they're angels and the hearts in the middle right here so the heart is still open so it's never they've never allowed um their life experiences to get in the way of loving someone or being kind to people you know and that's what we want with a soulmate so let's have a look at what this person does you know who are they so tell me more about pile two's soulmate here please spirit thank you yeah look at this courage this is somebody um 
they have to be like this because they've experienced so much, you know, and that they're, they're um, the Tin Man, that's it. In Wizard of Oz, was it the Tin Man that needed, who needed, no, it was the lion that needed courage. It was the Tin Man with the heart. Hang on. God, I haven't seen Wizard of Oz. <laughs> it used to be one of my favourite films when I was little. So we had the, the, the lion who wanted courage. Oh, crap. What was the other one? The lion, the Tin Man. Oh, and the Scarecrow. What did the Scarecrow want? Oh, do you know what? If anybody knows this in poll two, down below, you know what I mean. If you've seen Wizard of Oz, it was it was something that the Tin Man wanted. Was it the oh, heart? I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember. But it's it's like they're lacking something, okay? And they've still got this hope, this courage for love, okay? Finding the one, finding their people, their soulmate, you know, their soul family. Tell us more about this pile two's um pile two soulmate please spirit. I'm, I'm loving this energy already. So this person could have children, um, they could work with children, okay. Or it could be just family is very important to them. They may like one day want a family. You know, I feel like this is a loner, someone that's had a lot of loss in their life that doesn't have any family. So when they do start a family, that is going to be their number one priority, which is brilliant. Love it. Tell me more about that. Oh, okay. Fear we have. So yeah, they've, you know, like I said, they suffer with a lot of anxiety is what I'm picking up with your soulmate. And, you know, it could be the fear of the unknown. It could be fear of getting involved with someone because maybe, you know, they've been hurt a lot in the past. This person could travel a lot with work. Um, you can meet them maybe while you're traveling. Yeah, look, playing it safe. This person is like in a little, a little bubble of their own. It's like they've got this protection bubble around them because they've been hurt. But they're still open to love, okay? But they are still very fearful of people and situations and love. Oh, so let's look at what they do for work. What do they do for work, please, Spirit? Part two, soulmate. What do they do for work? They could be someone that um, is a speaker here, you know? They could be like a mentor or a counsellor themselves. You know, something that involves speaking to people. Uh, energy healing. So this could be someone that works with, like I said, it could be a counsellor. It could be, you know, like recce or that kind of thing. You know, energy healing. They could be into the spiritual side of uh, when it comes to work. And don't forget, you know, I'm getting a few cards here because we, this is a collective reading, so there'd be many people watching this. So we're not just going to get one or two cards. Okay. Yeah, look, school. So for some of you, you could have already met this person at school, at college, okay? It could be that you could be going to school and your person, your soulmate is actually your teacher, your professor. Sounds a bit kinky, but anyway. <laughs> So that's for some of you. You could, like I said, could be at school and you've already met your soulmate. Environmentalist, love it. So this is somebody that um, is here to protect nature, to teach people about nature. This could be what their their speakers about, you know, the environment. And then we've got practice. So whatever they do, they have to keep on top of their their profession here with practice so you know if they are an energy healer or they are a professor or a teacher or something like that you know they're always having to brush up on their their profession trust so they they trust in their career path here they they love their um what they do 
Okay, um, blah, blah. Yeah, let's get some tarot cards first. I can't touch those. So tell me more. Actually, no, sorry, sorry. Let's have a look what they look like. So these cards that have male and female on them, but you know, like I said, they're energy. So tell me what pile to soulmate looks like, please, spirit. What does pile to okay, blimey. We have Asian descent. They could have a ponytail. They have deep set eyes. It could be plus size. Curly or wavy hair. Thin lips. So I'm gonna get a few more because said collective reading here. So what does Pile 2 Soulmate look like? This could be a middle-aged man, so someone that is in, you know, their 30s. Also could be a middle-aged woman as well, guys. Um, yeah. So what does Pile 2 Soulmate look like? I like earrings. So they could have a lot of earrings when you meet them, male or female, everybody loves earrings. They could be tall. Get a few more. What does Pile 2 Soulmate look like, Spirit? Get one more. Oh, that's too many. What does Pile 2 Soulmate look like? And they have freckles. I'm gonna just they could have thick eyebrows and on the back of the deck we have green eyes okay and we have freckles again I don't know why there's two cards in here of the same of this one but that must be very prominent you know for this to come out in the reading they're full of freckles I love freckles <sighs> talk about freckles my husband was <laughs> such an idiot at times Summertime, my freckles come out across my nose and um, slightly on my cheeks. But because I'm Mediterranean, my skin's quite dark. And he says, come here, you've got loads of... You thought they were blackheads. <laughs> He's trying to squeeze my freckles. <laughs> anyway, never mind. That's what I have to put up with. But yeah, so my husband thought my freckles were blackheads, but never mind. They didn't even look like blackheads. So let's have a look. Um... So yeah, let's have a look at what does your soulmate look like? Spirit, what does Pile 2 soulmate look like? Let's do that again. Okay. I've not got a grip on my cards. Okay, I'll take them. So we have the Hierophant, Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Hermit, Six of Cups, the Ace of one, uh, Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Seven of Pentacles. You could be dealing with someone when you do meet the soulmate who is into religion or of a different ethnic background. Okay, um, someone that is very spiritual. They could like to wear hats as well, this soulmate of yours, okay? Um, but, you know, there's a group of people in that, that card there with the Hierophant, and this is, you know, is like, a, when it comes to priests and vicars and things like that, they talk to people. So this is somebody that may have to dress a certain way um, for work. So even a lawyer, because, well, over here in the UK, most of you must know about that. Our guys, our guys, <laughs> our law system, they still wear wigs in court, you know, the High Court in London and things like that. So they still wear wigs. They have to wear those black uh, coat things, whatever they're called, you know, so they still dress up. So this could be someone that is even de like deals with law. It could even be family law as well because we've got children there. Um, it could even be that they deal with law with the environment, you know, um, helping people when it comes to things like that. I am picking up very strong law here, especially with the Three of Pentacles. 
this is someone that deals with a lot of people daily okay um they have to talk to a lot of people daily with the three of pentacles um your soulmate works very very hard very very hard Ace of Cups, hmm. See, with the Ace of Cups, you know, we're looking at what they look like, but also what they, who they are as well. This is somebody with that heart at the moment with the Ace of Cups. This is somebody that is very open to love, is looking for that 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 one, their soulmate, um, is looking for marriage, taking it to the next level, having children. This is everything that they want. They've got so much love, it's overflowing in this cup here if you look at it. But it's just like they've got nobody to give it to. You know, they're alone at the moment with the hermit here. They could have long hair, they could have a beard. Um, they could even like meditation as well, do a lot of meditation here with the hermit. So we've got Taurus energy, we've got Virgo energy, um, yeah, and Capricorn on the back of the deck with, with the devil. So with this energy here, this person could be quite, you know, built. You know, have a nice chest is what I'm seeing here. Um, this is someone that is a uh, very, very fun. Um, likes to make memories. This is what I've seen at the beginning here. They want this family with somebody where they can make memories. You know. This is somebody that has to use their mind a lot. So they could end up being emotionally drained at the end of the day. They have to use their... A lot of mental energy for, with their job here. Somebody that's doing very well for themselves as well with the Nine of Cups. You know, they've got everything, but they're just missing that love. They're, 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 you know, it's like they're wishing for somebody, which is you guys, their soulmate. They feel hopeless here with the Seven of Pentacles. They feel like it's um, just not going to happen. I mean, look how defeated he looks. This person could like to wear a lot of vests or they like to walk around with their bare chest out. No, with female or male, it don't really matter, does it? And with the devil energy on the back of the deck, this could be somebody that's... Um, because I said they suffer with anxiety and things like that, I feel like because of what's happened in the past, they they um, yeah, they're not going to want to let you go once they meet you with the Ten of Cups on the back of the deck. I'm not seeing it as toxic at all. I'm just seeing that this person's going to be quite possessive over you. Um, oh, what else? <clears throat> very attracted to you you know in the bedroom sense um there's going to be a, a connection there with that and once again jewelry again you know a nose ring here this person could have a nose ring they could like earrings if it's male even female you know they like jewelry here okay um So Spirit, tell me how will my uh, pile twos meet their soulmate? How will they meet their soulmate here? How are my pile twos going to meet their soulmate? The Empress. So we've got the Empress, the Ace of Wands and the Six of Swords. So what I'm seeing here, something's making you walk away from something here. Look, this is destined, 
okay? This is divinely guided for you too. There's something that's going on in your life pile too that's making you walk away from something here. You've made a decision to leave something behind. It could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be anything, a home, a country. You've decided to take a new path with the two of wands. This is being divinely guided here. You could have just got this inspiration. You know, we've got the high priestess here. You could have just got this inspiration or this intuition to, to do this, okay? That this is the right thing to do for you here. Now, you're very passionate about them passionate about this new beginning. Okay, this could be a new job and you know, a new career a new home, um, travel with the Ace of Wands. So, yeah, you're on this new adventure here. You're leaving all your troubles behind. You're going into Karma Waters here with the Six of Swords, you know. Um, you've gone through a very hard time here. The Empress, she does go through that hard, through a hard time. And don't forget the male, female with the Empress, Divine Masculine, Feminine here. Um, but you're putting yourself first now. It's like you were lacking something in your life and now you're taking action and you're very excited about the future here. And you know what, for you with the soulmate here, because you're very nurturing, you know, you just, you guys are beautiful if you're the Empress, okay? This is what this person needs because of this kindness, this good heart of yours that you have um they're gonna see you as the mother of their children or even the father of their children okay they're gonna i feel like they're gonna fall quite hard for you they're gonna feel very passionate about you here tell me um tell me how uh our pile twos are gonna meet their soulmate spirit so we have the page of swords and the six of wands the world yeah i feel like you're gonna go you're close the chapter Something come to an end for you, pile two, and you're moving on. So it could be that you've decided to go traveling here, okay? It could either be moving, like I said, or moving abroad, or, you know, <clears throat> immigration. And this is going to bring you a lot of success. And when you do this, you've got the page of swords here. This person's going to be watching you, okay? They may not talk to you for a while, but they are going to be watching you, okay? They're going to be studying you. And I feel like they're going to end up catching, you know, feelings for you. Um, yeah, look at that, Queen of Wands. Because they find you very beautiful. So tell me more. Why is Six of Wands here? <clears throat> they're going to notice you. Six of Wands is a recognition card. They're going to definitely notice you. I mean, come on, you're the Empress. Who wouldn't notice you? Part two. So, yeah, they're, they're going to notice you. Yeah, look, the King of what, the Swords. So we have um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, quite strong in this reading. Um, yeah, quite strong in this reading. It is an air sign. Okay, so where I said this person's going to notice you when you go to wherever it is that you're going to go to. <laughs> this person's going to come across as, as quite cold at first. Um, their guard is going to be up with the King of Swords. But like I said, and this is clarified the cards with what I've said at the beginning. This King of Swords is somebody high up in their job. This is someone in authority, okay? This is someone that is the boss. Um, this could be in the someone in the military, in law. This is this is someone that does very well. They use their mind, the King of Swords. Um, and like I said, I'm, I don't know why I keep saying it. Beard, 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 beard. Or a goatee, that's a goatee. So yeah, this could be somebody that has dark hair with a goatee for some of you, if you're women watching this, even if you're men watching this, you know, um, your person could have a goatee and what have you. Um, and this is so sweet, really. It's sad. They're going to be so shocked when they meet you. They're going to be blown over with the tower here. It's going to be like, you're literally just going to, 
crumble down all their defenses everything that they believed in you know these walls that they've they've got up it's it's gonna come crumbling down because they're gonna be fascinated with you you know that infatuated and that could be why the devil is there but it's not cringy okay i didn't see anything cringy there so yeah they're gonna be watching you they're gonna notice you as soon as you you arrive okay so if you feel like this person may not be your soulmate when you meet them because they're very detached and very cold um, and their guards up but this is because I feel like they need to know because everything that they've gone through so they need to just be careful okay but it's don't don't believe what you're seeing okay look behind that so tell us more please spirit what is um the personality of a uh, pal two soulmate what are their personality like Pole two soulmates personality like oh spirit too many come on what is pole two Jesus Christ okay that's better tell me more what pole two soulmates personality is like. Right, okay, I said at the beginning, this person could have um, a lot of anxiety, okay? They war with themselves. They, their personality is, sometimes they find it very hard to make a decision, you know, because they're trying to, I don't know, protect themselves. They're scared to take that chance. Um, so they'll weigh up their pros and cons. Um, they'll take a while when deciding the path or the choice or wherever it is that they they fighting with themselves because we've got the five of wands here this is in a conflict okay you're battling with yourself um yeah tell us more about what pile two's soulmates personality is like for his spirit When even could be when they meet you, they could be questioning themselves of why why did um spirit lead you to me now, you know? Why is this happening with the two of wands? Oh, look at this guys, we've got the Emperor. You guys are divinely like divine feminine and masculine here. You are divinely guided towards one another here. This is a high level soulmate connection with the Empress and the Emperor here, okay? Um this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. This is somebody in authority, like I said, with the King of Swords. This is a, you know, this is a good father, a good husband here. He's a prov provider. He, um, he does like things a bit, you know, he likes things organised, okay? He likes to plan things out, okay? And he will always follow it through. And I'm saying he because it's a he card. Um, so this is what I've already said about the King of Swords. This is somebody that likes regulation, things in order. Not in a cringy way though, you know. They, this, they are set in their ways, that's what I'm picking up. But this is somebody that is very respected in the community, very respected by their, their work colleagues, you know. And this is someone that you can respect as well. Love it. Tell me more about this emperor. Tell me more about this emperor from a pile two. a lot of burdens you know this is to do with work hopefully when you meet your soulmate my pal twos you can maybe get them to chill out i feel like that's all they've got in life okay is their work 
Their work is their family, their work is their baby, their work is their love, because I have nothing else to fulfill that. Now with the Ten of Wands, that this, this brings about, their job is very burdensome, okay? Um, it causes a lot of stress for them. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, this is work. So they work very hard for for a living. So hopefully when they meet you, you can help them relax a little bit more, you know. So any advice in regards to my pile two soulmate here, spirit, any advice? Any advice? My belly's going to start grumbling. Every time I do a reading, I get so hungry. It's strange. I should bring up some snacks. <laughs> Tell me more about um, my emperor. My emperor? Why the hell did I just say my emperor? Not my emperor. Pile two's emperor. Oh, that was weird. Oh, we've got Aries energy here as well, okay, with the emperor. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't look like spirit wants us to know about this emperor. Tell me about the emperor's spirit. Come on. Oh. So we finally have the king of pentacles, the king of cups, the four of cups. Oh, look at that. The lovers. So we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces and Gemini. Okay. Um, but I do feel like the, the strongest air, um, sign in this reading is air, okay? <sighs> You've got yourself a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that, but anyway. You've literally got the three kings. There's just one king missing, which is what we're we missing, king of wands. Okay, it's not there. Just thought it might be there. You've literally got someone that, and it, it really does explain about this card here with the heart of the moment of how this person is. You know, they're very beautiful inside, okay? They don't show that to certain people. I don't think they show that to many people, but they're going to show it to you here. This is the King of Pentacles here, someone that is very successful with business, with work. They're earning a really good income here. This is a provider, okay, a giver. This is somebody that will make a good husband that you can rely on. The King of Cups is somebody that is very, very loving, compassionate, emotionally available. You know, they're mature, um, very charming, you know, and they're going to look after you, okay, with the King of Cups. They've got a lot of love to give you. But you just got to draw that out of them when you meet them. You know, the Four of Cups is somebody that's feeling very dissatisfied with life, okay? They're missing out on someone, their soulmate. They're feeling dejected, you know, that is it ever going to happen? I feel like they're, they've, like, just given up. That's why they concentrate so much on work. They just feel unfulfilled because they're waiting for you, which is the lovers here. And when they meet you... They're going to choose you, okay? So let's get some other cards for you guys. My pal twos. Um, okay, let's get some of these for you. So, some of pal two spirit. Thank you. Maybe some pal one. So we've got butterfly rebirth. You can... Re you can reinvent yourself, open the rules of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. So this could be um, with this energy here of your soulmate. You're going to, you know, they're going to feel reborn, okay? You're going to bring something out of them that they're going to feel, feel this love and enjoy this uh, journey with you, okay? They're not going to be scared. It is, it's like they're going to be reborn. You're going to take them from... The King of Swords to these two here where they don't show this to anybody, okay? You know, because we've got 
the Emperor that's regulation, we've got the King of Swords that's closed off at times, can be a bit distant and cold, but then you've got these two here, this is what you're going to bring out, okay, this is what's going to be reborn when they meet you. Then we have Raven Shaman, you are the creator and magician, use the gifts for good, there is a power in your wisdom of words, connect with the elements, spirits and glide through the work through the void claim your peace as a keeper of the mystery so you are going to be somebody when you meet this uh soulmate here that is going to be opening their eyes to to love you are going to be um someone that you know you use your words you know when you say to a child use your words when they're having a tantrum <laughs> um yeah you're going to get this person to open up okay they're not going to be closed off anymore that's what you said there so we've got the Orca Well Adventure. Dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. See, this is what I'm saying. I feel like some of you are going somewhere where you've never been before or it's where you want to move to, okay? Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. So, yeah, this with this energy here, like I said, family is very important to them. And I feel like once they have... You know start the family with you for both of you here it's going to be very important i mean they could have family and family is important to them okay you know they've got um they're very family orientated and i like that about uh, people okay so let's get some messages for you how to spirit message do you have in regards to poultry soulmate. Okay, we have listen. Um you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what like do you know that really does make sense here, okay? I feel like you may be somebody, pile two, that is very nurturing because you're the you're the empress, okay? You're very, you know, you want to help, you want to advise, you want to do all this, okay? But this per energy is very closed off. So what spirit is advising you to do is don't jump in with advice, don't jump in with anything. Just listen to this person. I feel that that's what they don't get is people don't listen to them. You know, sometimes we have to be selfish and put our our needs second at times so spirit wants you to be com a compassionate listener when it comes to this soulmate okay and i feel that that's what's going to make them really fall in love with you is how good of a listener you are let them ask you for advice is what i'm hearing as well oh look at this love love is a foundation of your existence and you you're you are just worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be beautiful emotion, it's equally a form of energy that propels you through life. Yeah, look, this is an equal um, connection here. Both of you are going to fall in love. Memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of, of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. And it could be you two have got something in common here. I am picking up strongly that this person has no family. They have, um, they don't have family is what I'm picking up. They have no one. And I feel like you come from a similar background as well, Pole 2, that you two are going to be making memories with one another, you know. Um, it also could be where Spirit is asking you to listen if it isn't the case that you have family, but they don't, you know, or they've gone through stuff with their family, Spirit wants you to let them talk about these memories, but don't push for answers, you know, let them, let them tell you, okay? So let's get some of these before I close the reading from a pole tool. Tell me a pole to soulmate, Spirit, please divine timing we can never manipulate time you can only work with it start working hand in hand with your divine timing so spirit saying that this is divinely 
you know, divinely guided. It, you know, you, everything's got to play out before it can happen. Sacred bond. This is beautiful. Like I said, this is a, a high high level soulmate here with the divine feminine and masculine here, guys. This is very special. Okay, I feel like it's very very special with the um hierophant there you know this person could have been married in the past but this is somebody that would like a serious commitment marriage you will have a spiritual connection that will allow you to see yourself through the person you love and i feel like that's what both of you are gonna have with one another okay yeah i'm gonna leave it there part two that was really beautiful um if you like this reading please hit like i really appreciate it if, comment down below um if you can remember about the, the Tin Man there with the uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I can't believe I couldn't remember that. I'm going to be Googling that when I get off. But anyway, you have a lovely day and I see you soon. Bye. Hey, Pal Free. So if you chose Sweet Soul Rising, with this card, you're looking at your soulmate that is a bit of a dreamer, okay? Um, could be psychic, okay? Could have some psychic... Uh, gifts here um there's some this is someone that thinks a lot you know they're in their head they go quiet um so yeah if they go quiet it's because they're thinking okay their their brain's going 10 to the dozen with this card as well i'm getting that people tend to walk all over this soulmate of yours you know they take advantage of their kindness because this is a very sweet soul okay i don't know why i'm picking up a new soul as well um so let's have a look at your soulmate, my pal free. Oh yeah, let's have a look, see what they, who they are, you know, and I'll just go from there. So tell me about pal free's soulmate, please, spirit. Tell me more about pal free's soulmate. So we have travel, family, that's come out in every pile, every pile. So this could be somebody that has children, okay, or it could be that they just, um, they really appreciate their family, okay. It could be that they're from a different place to you, different religion, different country, you know, that kind of thing. It could be that they travel a lot with work, um, or they like travel. They've experienced some kind of loss here. Could have lost a family member. Okay, so when you meet them, you you know, you may hear that they've lost a family member, someone very close to them here. Tell me more about Paul Free Soulmate. So they could be, you know, do something with the arts, you know, they could be creative, they could paint, um, draw play musical instruments here they're very creative okay your soulmate um oh la, la. okay let's look at hang on what they do for work what does pile two's soulmate do for work two, two pile three soulmate what do for work sorry guys what does pile three's soulmate do for work pile three Soulmate do for work, spirit. So whoever this is, they they're doing something that they absolutely love. They followed their heart, okay. They didn't follow the 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 norm, okay. So maybe their parents, you know, wanted them to be a lawyer or doctor or something like that but i feel like they went the artistic route they totally followed their heart's desire here this is why i'm picking up dreamer with that card here they're very, they could even be a writer as well okay you know they could write novels short stories that kind of thing and look what we got here we've got travel is exactly what i said they track they could travel for work um oh spirit thank you for clarifying the cards creative endeavor and we've got artists here as well this is an artist you're dealing with and like i said this is why i feel like they're up in their head you know ideas inspiration you know people could be with you know with family and stuff it could be because it's people that's where they get their inspiration from crystals so they could be into crystal healing 
magic here. Um, it could be if they do paint, they do. I don't know why I'm picking up. They paint angels, something to do with crystals here. Okay. And then we've got talk to your angels. So they, so what I said, someone very spiritual with that sweet soul rising. So it could be that they're in. Um, they've got a connection to spirit. Or they could receive messages through spirit. That could be why they're so talented when it comes to art. You're on the right path. So they're definitely on the right path, your soulmates. They're not lost calls, okay, part three. <laughs> that sounded so bad. But anyway, no, they're not. So let's get their physical features. They're happy with what they're doing. Very content with what their career path. So spirit, tell me, um, what does part three's... Uh, soulmate look like and quite a few flew out there and don't forget these kind of men and women on these cards but the energies guys so they have cat eyes they could have curly or wavy hair they've got freckles they could have dark skin they could have a mole on their face that's quite uh, noticeable when you meet your soulmate so if they've got that mole on their face guys you know that's your soulmate <laughs> So tell me, what does a uh, pole freeze soulmate look like? They could like to wear their hair in braids. They like to wear a lot of plain clothes. So maybe they just goes with the artist theme, doesn't it, really? Tell me more about pole free. They could have red hair. And don't forget, this is because it's collective reading. This is, um, you know, that's why I'm getting so many cards. It could be a middle-aged man. So this could be someone in their 30s, 40s, you know, that kind of thing. Or it can be a middle-aged woman as well. We've got short hair. We have feminine. So this could be the divine feminine, but it doesn't matter whether it's male or female because we have feminine energy in all of us, um, male or female. So they could be quite feminine. Um, but that's what I'm getting here because of the sweet soul rise. And I said, this is such a lovely soul. Okay. I feel like they're in touch with the feminine side of, of themselves, you know. Um, yeah, that's what I'm picking up. And they could have braces. Okay. Doesn't matter what age you are, you can have braces at any time in life. So, Spirit, tell me, what does this uh, soulmate of my pole freeze look like? What does my pole freeze soulmate look like? Queen of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Do you know what I'm getting? They could like hats as well could like to wear their, wear hats or you know if it's if they're female they like clips and fancy things in their hair you know some girls do their hair um they could have long hair as well so we've got gemini libra aquarius energy here and we've got virgo taurus uh, capricorn here as well energy so They could have black hair, guys, as well, is what I'm picking up. Tell me a bit more. What does a pile one soulmate look like? Pile, did I say pile one or pile three? I don't know, honestly. What does pile three soulmate look like? And if I said something wrong there, I do apologise. What does pole free soulmate look like? Moon. The wheel. I have the cups and the chariot. So this could be somebody that likes to wear a lot of dark clothes, okay? Um, yeah, a lot of dark clothes here. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it could be that they have a lot of logos on their clothes as well. So, you know, like T-shirts with logos or, you know, even if they're, even though they, they dress casual, it could be designer casual. 
So it could be, uh, yeah, logos. This, uh, this, um, this soulmate of yours does travel a lot. They do travel a lot. They could be into cars as well. They could have a really nice car here. And I'm looking at they've got really nice physique as well. Not, not massive build, but toned. You know, like a swimmer's body, okay? That's what you're looking at. And I am looking at strongly at dark hair here. And with the Knight of Wands, that's very inappropriate what that just come to my head, but it's what I see and I'm trying to keep it PG. Um, they could have a, um, they could be well endowed. That's the word I'm gonna use, okay? Hopefully I don't get flagged by YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, you know, just that's what I saw, that's what I heard with the, with the Knight of Wands. Um, they've got a very high sex drive as well, is what I'm picking up, pile three. So, tell me the personality of pile three's soulmate. What is pile three's soulmate's personality? What are they like, spirit? What are they like? of cups eight of wands two of pentacles nine of swords okay this is someone that is very romantic very sweet okay um they've like i said I f this is you know it can be someone younger doesn't matter about those other cards that came out this could be someone younger than you it, you lot could be young this person could be young at heart okay but they have such a romantic side to them and it's like a I'm getting lack of experience when it comes to love or relationships. This could be somebody that volunteers as well. So if they do painting or musical instruments, that kind of thing, it could be that they volunteer their, their, their services to people that are less fortunate than them. Okay, so that's the person that... It, personality I'm picking up on they're very giving so we've got Cancer Scorpio Pisces again Pisces Cancer so we've got strong Cancer Pisces here okay um this is somebody that likes to um likes to be on the move they like to take action you know yeah they like a lot of movement so they could be a bit hyper at times you know get a bit excitable with your soulmate, I bet you're thinking, oh my God. Um, but yeah, they, they're a go-getter, okay? I'm, I'm picking up also, they may even like horse riding. You Americans call it, call it horseback riding, but we call it horse riding. <laughs> but anyway, so they could have a horse or, yeah, I'm picking up strongly with that horse, with the Knight of Pentacles there, that there's something to do with horses with this person. Now, with the Two of Pentacles, this could be someone that juggles a lot, okay? So, if they're giving their time to other people and then they've got their work. But I feel like because they're so into, they're so talented and their brain is on the go all the time, like I said at the beginning, they're juggling so many things at once. So, they can get a bit overwhelmed with the Nine of Swords here, you know, they can stress themselves out. This is someone that could suffer with anxiety, okay? Um... They get a lot of sleepless nights here because they're working really hard. They're trying to juggle so many things at once here. And they're feeling a bit defeated at the moment with the Five of Swords on the back of the deck. It's like a part of them just wants to throw the towel in. They're not going through a very good time at the moment. Yeah, I feel like they feel like they're carrying a lot of a lot on their shoulders at the moment. Tell me more about Palfrey's uh, soulmate. 
What is their personality like? Yeah, emotionally drained. This person's a... Uh, this person's... Um, overworked, overloaded, okay? They're, it's like they can't take any more. And they're being very firm about something at the moment. They're very... They, I like this. They're, they know when to stand their ground. They know when to um, say enough is enough. They're putting a stop to this. It could be that they're, they're wanting to take a time out here. Maybe um, the reason why they're juggling and stressing at the moment, they've got deadlines, is what I'm picking up. But they're taking this much needed rest here. They, I feel like they are gonna be traveling. Did we get travel? Yeah, we did at the beginning. Um, so they could be going on holiday, you know, just to relax. But it's like they are, Finally, I think because of the stress of everything that's been going on in their life that they've taken too much on, they are having to close a chapter on one of those things that they do, one of those jobs that they do. It could be even the volunteering. So, yeah. So, anyway, let's have a look how you're going to meet them. How is my pal free going to meet their soulmate spirit? How are they going to meet my, my pal free going to meet their soulmate? And get the words out. So we actually had the ten. I said burdens, did I not? Ten of wands, ace of swords, and the four in reverse. Oh. something is going to happen here someone's going to be reckless whether you or your soulmate here it could be that you work with this person already or you're going to be working with them now because this is a new job The Ace of Swords is a new job. Or it could be... Okay, Paul Free, if you work in uh, the nursing profession, like a nurse or a doctor or something like that, it could be this is how you meet this person. They're going to do something that's going to be quite reckless here that they could end up injuring themselves and that could be how you meet them okay because they're so burned and it's like i'm getting they're not really concentrating and something happens so for some of you because don't forget collective reading it could be a new job or it could be you meet them because this person ends up being reckless so i need to clarify this this fall in reverse Tell me about the fall in reverse. Well, I'm always my pal free that's complicated, you know. <laughs> Three of swords. Tell me about the Three of Swords. this person pole free you actually do know this person you were rejected by this person or you rejected them or they rejected you to so take what resonates here okay you've not seen them for a very long time okay it could be years years you've known this per you knew this person when you were young very young my pole free 
okay? And you've not spoken to them or seen them in years, okay? Um, and uh, this makes so much sense now. This fall in reverse, this was someone that was so reckless, someone that did not think about things. They were naive, they were unprepared. They did not, they did not see what they had in front of them when you were younger, okay? When you, it's just like an innocent kind of thing. You could have gone to school with them. You could have been childhood sweethearts. Um, but anyway, they were so naive and reckless that they they could have chosen somebody else over over you. Okay, there was a third party here. Um, they broke your heart. And now the truth is being shown to this energy here. This, it's like they're seeing it now with the Ace of Swords. Look, rejection. They rejected you. And their life has not been the same since. It's like they... It's like something's missing. Yeah, this is somebody that you actually knew, your soulmate. And the Six of Wands, this is somebody that recognises now who you are, recognises that you are their soulmate and they made a big mistake. This is somebody that knows, uh, it could be watching you, could be seeing how successful you are, Pole Free admiring who you you who you who you have become let's have a look at this ace of swords what is this ace of swords spirit so you met this this soulmate of yours already tell me about the ace of swords They know how valuable you are. They know... Whatever. <laughs> so we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. They they really do realise how valuable you were. And they're kicking themselves now. Oh my God, the Empress. And the Eight of Swords in reverse. Wow. And the Ten of Cups. Oh dear. I mean, how valuable can you get? You're the Divine Feminine as well as the Queen of Pentacles. They now realise that you should have maybe been their mother or the father of their children, okay? You were the one that was, you know, there for them when they when you guys were younger. Um, they didn't see the beauty in you and I feel like you're their muse. If this person is an artist, I feel like you're their muse. So a lot of their work could actually surround you. That's why they're in their head. You know, the Eight of Swords is feeling trapped, being trapped in a mental prison, um, but it's come out in reverse. This is somebody that is releasing something in their life. It could even be they're releasing the third party that they got involved with, that, you know, if they were in a commitment with someone married, you know, that kind of thing. They could have a family with the Ten of Cups here on the back of the deck. But they're really, that's being released now. They now realise you were there happily ever after. Jeez Louise. Like I said, my pal phrase, you always are the ones that are the most complicated. Um, so, and I say that with love. <laughs> So tell me, Spirit, how um, how will my pal Free and the soul, their soulmate come together? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, calm down. 
Six of Swords, Five of Pentacles. This person's spying on you, they're watching you. It's delayed news. They're going through a hard time at the moment. They are going through a very hard time at the moment. They, they could have some financial struggles, could have some mental, um, a bit of depression here, okay? Which we're sort of seeing that anyway. But they're, they're on the road to recovery with the Six of Swords. How are they gonna meet Spirit? How are they gonna come back together? All right, what's the soulmate's next move towards my pile freeze, Spirit? Come on, give us the answers. Ten of Swords, Strength, and the Four of Wands. Bear with me. Tell me about the Four of Wands. This is the Twin Flame card, guys. Soulmate Twin Flame. Tell me about the Four of Wands. They're ending their mat. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. They've experienced a lot of heart hardships, okay, like I said. If this person went and married somebody else, built a life with them, it's come to an end, it's it's over. There's some kind of betrayal here. Um This is somebody that's like literally hit rock bottom. We've got the five of pentacles as well. And They've had to deal with this with the strength here, Leo energy. It's lovely to see the strength energy there because, you know, they have got the, the strength to deal with this. They've had to. They've had to take control of the situation. Their health is now looking good, okay? With the Four of Wands where I clarified that, it's an ending. It's a closing of a chapter here with the Four of Wands. The marriage has come to an end. But Spirit is still not telling me how you two are going to... Maybe you're not supposed to know. Come on, Spirit. Tell me how... <sighs> Tell me how my palfrey and their soulmate are going to meet. Get back together. <laughs> oh, don't know. Maybe some of you don't even want to get back with a past loved one, you know. Some people don't want to look back. Um, so what is their next move towards my pole free? Oh my god, that's come out three times. They're about to take action. This is, they've made a decision. They're coming forward here with the, they're very passionate about this. There's no stopping them with the Knight of Wands. Travelling towards you here. <sighs> Tell us more about the Knight of Wands. They want a new beginning with you. They want a fresh start, a second chance with you. They could end up moving to where you are, um, moving home, because you know, getting closer to where you live. Um, yeah, they're on their way. They're on their way here. Why am I hearing? Oh, what's the song? Jennifer Lopez's uh, song for that movie, um, Marry Me, the actual song to that. Oh, that's just come into my head. How did it go? I'm on my way to you. Hang on, I'm not going to sing it because I don't want you lot to switch off. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm on my way to you. Shame I ain't got that written in front of me. Um, she talks about how it was just every heartache leads to the yellow brick road. So it's basically the she took. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm on about. And if you heard Jennifer Lopez's, uh, it's not called "Marry Me," um, but that's the film. So if you look at the film and then look at the the song to that film, um, 
she's talking about basically the the two people that literally went on different roads throughout their life but then this yellow brick road literally brought them both back together so this is how i see soulmates sometimes they have to take a different path they have to deal with karmic uh people in their lives you know we had justice just now so that's dealing with a karmic you know they've got to do their their karma it's like a prison sentence and they have they've made a choice here judgment they've they've had this clarity and they've made a final decision and they're going to be taking action it's like a wake-up call something's woken this but yeah here they come here they come knight of cups they're on their way to either ask to talk to you you know maybe take you out for a romantic day um but this is somebody that has really genuine deep feelings for you okay and i feel like they've been carrying this around with them for a very long time so what advice would you give my pal free spirit this was an interesting turnabout here does so for some of you i'm picking up strongly they may have children here because you know the family card they've experienced the loss now this is all making a lot of sense now you know it could be the loss of you know the family and the marriage breakdown or the relationship breakdown if they weren't married you know that kind of thing so they've experienced some hardships yeah look the magician um i feel like you're both man of um of being manifest in each other i feel like you still remember this person you still think about this person i feel like you've got a lot of unfinished business both of you with each other you know you may not have got the closure because of what they did they could have done it in such a sneaky way here um so you never got the answers and i feel like with this knight of cups that was just there you're gonna get your answers okay and this person's gonna be very honest with you this is like somebody very focused on their goal here which is you <laughs> you're like the target So we have the Five of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, look, they have admitted to themselves that they messed up, okay? They walked away from the wrong person here. They chose wrong here with Seven of Cups, okay? They had options. They chose the wrong option. They chose the wrong cup. Um, And they've admitted this to themselves. And I feel like they have been beating themselves up about this over the years, okay? So it's not just recently but more so now maybe spirit is like poking them hello wake up you know um yeah look the tower realization it's like everything that they thought was right for them they now realize it was wrong and they took the wrong path so hopefully that elaborate road to bring you two back together so anyway they're looking forward to this new beginning with you um this passionate new beginning here um and they're very excited about moving forward. It's just whether you guys would want that. But this is your soulmate, guys. I do apologise that it's an ex. <laughs> but I feel like it's not a recent ex, okay? I'm picking up more for you, Palfrey, that this is somebody you knew from years ago, okay? From years ago. Um, did we get middle-aged man? Hang on, hang on. I'm going to mess up the cards. I don't care. Was that in another part? Yeah, we did. Middle-aged man. So this could be why middle-aged man came out. Could be middle-aged woman, middle-aged man. You know, you lot are older now. You both got families and stuff. But anyway, I'm babbling. So let's get some of these cards for you. My pile three. Oh. Do you know what? This is so weird. In all three piles, I've had both these cards... And the one on the back of the deck. So there's a message here for all of you here. Raven Shaman. You are the creator and the magician. Which we've just got the magician wherever that's gone. Because I've messed up the bloody place. Use your gifts for good. There is a power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the element spirit, elemental spirits. And glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. So... I feel like this is somebody that, like I said, is very artistic, is a creator here, okay? 
they have a lot of wisdom and their words when they when they're going to be communicating with you you're going to be fascinated with this person you know what they have to say what they have to tell you you know they've learned a lot over the years they've got a lot of knowledge and wisdom if you want to put it that way butterfly rebirth you can reinvent yourself open to the rewards of change you have brilliance to share with the world love every part of your journey but this is rebirth this is something that's about to be brought back to life it's been dead for a very long time actually let's get one more hopefully we'll get a different card for you guys and do you know what i forgot to actually do for the other two poles was letters in their name <laughs> But you know what? We'll do it for you, Pile Free. Hopefully I don't forget. Okay, what we got? We have Fox Clever. You are swift and smart. Situation uh, Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. instincts. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. So, you know, your intuition is going to tell you whether this person is genuine or not this time, okay? Um... And spirit saying, just be open to romance, because I don't see a do I don't see a dodgy energy here at all. You know, like a um, uh, what's the word? I don't see deception in this reading at all. Okay, penguin authentic. Reach out to your reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm love and uniqueness you are full of surprise break free from others expectations just be yourself so it could be that you may need to turn to family for advice but your family may actually support this you know if that's what you're fearing that maybe family won't agree with this because of what happened in the past so let's get some more messages for you my pal free No, it's too many, goodness sake. All right then. So we have let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints, constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best interests at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. So this is spirit saying let go of the past trust in the divine you know trust in the divine to help you with this it could be like i said you're being this is like you spirit is guiding you two back together the yellow brick road look at the yellow on this card self-sabotage when you learn to get out of your own way there we there will be no stopping you most of the time it's not others who prevent you from achieving your great your true goals it's the inner voice that derails and derails those carefully woven plans so it could be you may end up self-sabotaging this um or you could be one of these pile free that you just beat yourself up a lot about things you question things a lot you know um am i doing the right thing is this right for me so we've got a mother's love a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close she knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that a special bond of love can never be broken so if any of you've lost your mother um Spirit wants you to know, your mum wants mum wants you to know that she's there with you, guiding you with this and maybe helping bring you two back together. You know? So let's get some messages. Tell me more about Pole Free Soulmate. Pole Free Soulmate, please, Spirit. See, like, when I ask the question about how will you meet, you know, that kind of thing. There was no meeting of anything. If anything, the Page of Swords was on the back of the deck. Like I said, this person is spying on you and it's also delayed news, okay? So this person, I've got a funny feeling, will reach out online, okay? Because the world is the internet. So I feel, feel like it is going to be text message or, you know, that kind of thing, Facebook message, you know, okay? And this is what I just said, divine timing. We can never manipulate time, you can only work with it. Start working hand in hand with your, your divine timing. So you can't rush this. 
emotional fear. It will be hard to resist an emotional connection with someone who is already involved. Um, so one of you could still be involved when this person comes back. Uh, not this energy. It could be you, Palfrey, could be involved with someone. And it's going to end up opening a can of worms here, which is going to end up making you feel very confused as well this is a message for some of you people if you are involved it's you know you're going to be drawn back to this person and it could be that you just remain friends but it's going to turn into an emotional affair and then it's going to you know like like being okay materialistic love let's hope this relationship is not about money and gifts you'll only end up feeling miserable but this is what i'm saying with this energy here who they chose over you they ended up with someone that was very selfish, very karmic, okay? And um, teamwork, whatever they, whatever you lack, they got you and vice versa. You have found your teammate in love and life. So yeah, you're both gonna support each other, hold each other up. Oh my God. <laughs> I freak myself out sometimes with my readings. I just, did someone from your past, blast from the past, an ex, or on and off again lover may come back is it worth investing in the past i do believe it is i believe this is this is a second chance with your soulmate here and it's whether you want to go go down that road guys let's get some letters let's oh bloody hell finally handier let me get some more ones Okay, so we have, <laughs> so I'll take that as a W, we've got O, F, all we need is an L, can spell wolf. <laughs> anyway, so I've got, is that an I, it must be a, hang on, wait a minute guys. Yeah, that's another W. Actually, no, I'm taking that as an M. Then we've got A, B, S, U, E, H, U. No, that's an M. <laughs> I've not used these, so don't don't hate me. Okay. Oh, we've got Sue. Sue. Hum. Mm. <laughs> e. We've even got fab. Anyway, I'm messing around. C. And we've got another U. And we've got P. K. Another S. Another I. Yeah, that is I. So, okay, if that's I, that's L. So, we've got P. G. K. R, S again, and an X, and an F, and a J. So, we've even got Joe there as well. So yeah, that could spell out the name of the person um, that is your soulmate from your past. Or they could have the letters in their name as well, you know, their initials, the letters in the first name, second name, you know how it works. So I'm going to leave it there, my pile free. If you like this reading, please hit like. I really appreciate it. If you want to comment down below, please comment. I love hearing from you guys. And you have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye.